Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's show. We have a special guest. We have Jeff Roberts. He is founder and owner of Yellowhammer Coffee, best coffee in the whole wide world. And today we're going to talk about his story and how, where it came from and how it grew. And he has a mobile truck that he goes around and delivers your coffee. And now he's transitioned into having a location. And where's he going to go from here? He is energized. He is pumped. And we're excited for him to be here. I'm Karen. I'm a CPA, entrepreneur with big ideas, and I'm the mom. I'm Katie. I'm a payroll specialist, business owner, and detail-oriented person that makes things happen, and I'm the daughter. Welcome to Cheers to Business. Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's show. Today, we have Mr. Coffee himself, Yellowhammer Coffee, Jeff Roberts, and we want to hear his story, and I tell you what, guys, he's got some amazing ideas on content. Katie, what does that mean? Are we jumping right into it? Okay. So Jeff, I met him actually one of the first times he was implementing something that he preaches, which is um, document, don't create. And I love it because um, he actually delivered coffee to our office, um, to Payroll Vault. And the thing is, they don't deliver. They didn't really have any a line at the trailer. So he just posted real quick, hey, who wants me to bring them coffee? And I was like, me. And then ever She's since then. She's been obsessed ever since. I just want to tell but you But that. that's what he's done is his yeah. brand. You're, even people who don't like coffee, they're obsessed with you. So that's why I just want to get into how have you yeah. grown that, your, your story kind yeah, of, yeah. and then let's just hash it out. Well, totally. I want to talk about about too of taking something mobile because you had the trailer mm-hmm. and now you have a permanent location so yes. i want to hit that aspect a For little sure. bit too because that's huge everything yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. with the content side people connect with like reality people connect with like man I, like i want to feel the struggle people don't connect when they feel like you're a rock star like on a stage and then you walk off and go get on your private lear they relate like, to right. the imperfections yes and so that's what i found out and so it, like most coffee places are going to – they're going to show you that picture or they're going to show you this mug and they're going to show you gorgeous latte art, which I love. I'm like, man, it's amazing. Love the art. I, I Like I love everything to it. But a lot of the content's going to be, here's perfect. But like here's perfection. Here's perfection. So we kind of take it to the extreme. But like here's the ugliest crap. Like this is the worst. <laughs> like we just spilled milk all over the floor. Yeah. Here's your latte art. You know, it's a gallon of milk <laughs> busted, you know? But somehow people literally jumped on this and they're like, oh, my gosh, I love the realness. I love the behind the scenes. Like, I love the like I think they can the connect. struggle. They it's can connecting because we're all screwing up. Right. Yeah. It's like they go home and they feel like, you know, like, crap, like I'm life's just alone. tough. And so, yeah. So it's literally like they connected with this thing in, in the first video I ever made. It was it was literally when we started. I said, I'm going to start a coffee trailer. And if we fail, I'm going to fail right in front of your eyeballs. And we're going to keep it documenting. Why coffee? I don't know. Like, like I just like these <laughs> people the, are looking for stuff to start, but right, they don't know yeah. what to do. I literally don't know. It's just it's the idea that didn't go away because I have a Starbucks background. Okay, and so I worked I at didn't Starbucks. Know that. Yes, so Starbucks taught me the system of coffee. Okay. in college, right? So, I, so I understand the system and the flow. What you're familiar with, number so one, kinda, write that down. It's almost like once you get the coffee bug, it just doesn't go away. Ask any of like my baristas are constantly in Chalor and like other coffee places. I and, don't like, know what that means. They, it's, it's, it's a, a place in Mobile. They do yeah, beautiful yeah. latte or, art or, or, and carpe diem. Or Really? anything and so like okay. it, it, it's coffee's like a culture and like once you get it like i met this girl yesterday it was literally at five guys this girl walked in and i was like yep she's been a barista and it's weird <laughs> and it's so so i literally and she was like talking or, or said something and i said hey you've you've done coffee before haven't you she's like oh my gosh I was you've a barista. Done coffee she was like i was a barista at starbucks for a year how did you know i was like i just i, I literally think you I got like, that with accountants like yep. you're an accountant yes yeah you can tell <laughs> or a lawyer like, yep yep i'll say you, he's a lawyer he's a doctor he's a yeah. i get it with we nerdy play. people we, yes yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. you like excel and numbers yeah, we <laughs> played that game in an airport uh, what's their story? Yeah, we play. What's the story when we're sitting? Oh, kind totally. of, yeah, it's, yeah. it's judging people, but we're not being no, mean. Yes, no, yeah. no, no, no. It, it is judging, but not I mean, in a mean way. No, it's good. Let's yeah. be real about it. That's right. Yeah, I bet we're right. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh, you know you're right. So, where did the name come from? Yellowhammer. Okay, so, so a lot of people don't know this, but Yellowhammer. Even even Alabamians don't know this. So Yellowhammer is the state the bird. Bird. I right. knew that. So a lot they of teach people, you that in third grade. They here. teach you that in third grade, but then she's you a know it all. I, was, so, I am not. But but I wanted a brand. So like I I, I, I struggle with this. I mean I was like man, 1702 coffee because that's when Mobile was founded. Mobile coffee do a play on like Mobile, like our city and this whole thing. Yeah. So like I struggled with and it just nothing just sounded right. It just didn't feel right. Didn't have the like the weight I wanted. And I was literally in the shower and I was like yellow hammer. I was like. I think that's the state bird. 
<laughs> your best shower idea is ideas. Shower. I was yes. like, oh my gosh, I think it's like, so got out of the shower, Googled it, you know, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm right. And so then I started looking at trademarks and like, what, could this actually work? Like, well, the is color this a pops thing? too. Right. So the, so the whole color scheme. So my friend Daniel, he's our designer. He lives in Tulsa. So when he made the logo, like, so a lot of people don't know this, but like it's a coffee bean, right? And it's our initials, white. So I wanted to stand alone without the, the words, right? Mm-hmm. So initials, coffee bean and wings. Of, okay. of the bird, right? So Love a lot of people, it. a lot of people like, you know, is it inspired by pilots? Because it could be like a little pilot pen. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah okay, it's, I it's, see it's that. a bird. You know what I mean? And so anyway, and I think it no, eventually cool. will. Like my three-year-old son, I um the other day we were driving past something, right, and there's my coffee back now. There was a picture <laughs> of the Starbucks logo, and he was like, "Coffee." Right. They recognize it, and yeah. so I mm-hmm. think it's amazing. As you grow a brand, and more yeah. people have that sense of connection to yeah. the brand and the logo, I don't think you'll need yeah. the words. So people drive by us, and they and they see the logo, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, it's Goldfingers! I'm starving." No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're really great about sharing information because yep. didn't you just have some people come visit you? All the time. And that so, that's a concept that a lot of people are stingy well, with. Well, you know this because you're a business owner. And I don't know why. That's so dumb. Well, like, but you'll understand this. So everybody walks up and they're like, this guy's making millions. Like the line's out the roof. He's banking. You know what I mean? <laughs> they like, don't know that you're putting oh, it back in and you're no. paying off what it took to get you here. <laughs> right. And the but credit I don't, cards. But and I don't a lot tell of credit. So they walk up to the right. line. I, I hear this all the time. You know, I, I think I'm going to start a coffee trailer. And I tell them the same thing. I'm like, you com- you totally should. Yep. I will tell you where I bought it. I will tell you my yep. secrets. I will tell you er- – like, you totally should. I helped a girl Meridian a couple of months ago. Like, she literally came down, studied us, went and bought the whole thing. Do you know I had an accounting firm reach out to me about doing a podcast? Yeah. Another, some yeah, other CPAs? Them. Absolutely. I said, absolutely. Yep. Let's go to lunch. And now they're – it's They're uh, on Johnny's team now. It's amazing because it helps you to help others. Yes. But like, but they also don't realize the price. And they're only going to realize the price you pay when they go do it. And, I'm, and the I, sacrifice. And the mm-hmm. sacrifice. Like, like, Not man, just money, but time. Dude, we have three kids. You have kids. It's like, my, your life. My kids take a hit. Like literally, yeah. my, my oldest is eight years old. Uh, her name's Levi. So she was at school the other day and one of her little buddies said, man, I wish my parents would own Yellowhammer Coffee. I swear to you, right? <laughs> so she's like kind of mini rock star because of whatever. It's weird. Like it gets weird for me. So anyway, I love what she told the kid though. She was like, you know, she said, if you were me, you probably wouldn't think that. She said, I sit in the car for hours a lot when my parents <laughs> are in know meetings. What? And like, it, it, so I was like, yes, oh, Levi, my yes. God. I was like, this is amazing. No, all right, best story ever. Yeah. We're in the van. She's, I don't know, first, second grade. And so she mm-hmm. learned what a difference was between a job and a career. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. we're talking about it. And I yep. said, so d- what do you want to be when you grow up? Do you want to be a CPA like mom? And she goes, no, I want to spend time with my kids. Wow. <laughs> first grade. You take the knife out right. of my heart. Right, right. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's crazy. But you yeah. have to, so you have to make time for it. So we try to make as much time as we can. But, like, our kids know we're building something. It's a exactly. sacrifice. We're all in it together. Like, you know, it is a big time constraint, but the flexibility that comes with it is really nice. You know, it I'm is. able to, yep. yes, it's eight o'clock and I'm answering emails right, and right. I said we were going to do this, but that field trip, I'm able to take off yep, all day. It, exactly. And it, it's, yep. it's give and take. I mean, it can't, you can't have your cake and eat it yep, too. Yeah. We're, we're planning a trip uh, with our family that for this summer, I'm going to go ahead and say this on the podcast and we'll see if this happens. So we, we really want to <laughs> go to Europe for like three weeks. Oh, oh wow. wow. And I'm, ta- I'm talking like. Peace see, out. See y'all later. If yeah. it, if, if no it, access if, to emails. If it burns down, here's what you do. When the machine breaks, here's who to call. Oh, that if makes the, that makes if, my anxiety go pipes, out the roof. If the pipes bust, if somebody hits the building, if somebody breaks in, like it's literally like here it is, guys. That makes me so happy. See for y'all you, later. Though. Yeah. I, well, all right. I'm admire saying you it right so now. much right now. Well, for even thinking about doing well, it. Well, let's talk after we do the trip, or if we do the trip, right? Yeah. So, but this is but our at plan. least like, you're even. We're moving that direction because I'm like, guys. But I feel like for our team, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, like. The trust that you're putting yeah, in like them. There's no one else. You should like do it, a trial it, run. <laughs> like it falls on me. Yeah. I mean, you know like, how you train? No, that no. means you don't trust them. No, 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 no. This no, is no, the no, trial no. run. No, you know how like you crate train a puppy? Like you do. No, you, you can't leave. call his people puppies. I'm not. Wow, I'm not. That really, no, that was really it's the Johnny, system. Johnny, can we edit this part out? I'm just, <laughs> no, but I'm really, you, you know what? You go MIA for a day. I'll see y'all later. And then you go MIA for two days and it's just the system. They got it. No. Just bye. You got it. I've done it. I did it. Oh, it's I mean, hard though. It'll be it'll be driving a truck. It'll be running and shutting down a trailer that operates like a brick and mortar, and it'll be running a brick and mortar. I mean, they're gonna ca- they're gonna be fine. I mean, cash counts, security footages. But you got great people. Everything we have amazing. That's the key. We, we keep have saying that. We all have great people. people. Yeah. yeah, that's why oh, we're I, here today. Yeah, it's true. Like literally, I, I drove mm-hmm. through the drive through. They had no idea I was coming. I just I mean, pull up like a customer, and they're like, "Oh wow," I, you know. And I'm like, "Yeah, we're going to do a podcast." Blah, I mean, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, before. 
I had a team. It was just me at the desk doing payrolls just yep. all day long. That's yep. all I did. And then you grow the team and there's a great team and I'm able to go then promote the business. And right. it's yeah. fantastic. I'm going to loop around. Yeah. I want to get to the physical location from okay. one coffee truck yeah. to two, you know, the yep. trailer yeah. to a physical location. <laughs> sure. Talk about that journey. Like, I want to talk about something that I don't probably a lot of people don't know. And this is kind of the fun part, right? So I was on Marcus Neto's podcast. All podcast. things mobile. Yes. At the end of that podcast, I did a little cry for help. And I was like, hey, I'm just throwing this out here. I really like and respect the owner of Fusakli's. I don't know him. You can't get in touch with him. Like I, he, like I don't know where he's at. I live next door to his neighbor. He's like a to ghost, his brother. right? Yeah. Okay. So like, mm-hmm. but he's like a ghost. Like you can't. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. where, where, where's he at? And so, <laughs> anyway, so I do this cry for help. Right. Oddly enough, two years later, I get a phone call, and he was like, "Hey, man, this is Will. I'm going to botch his last name. Will Fuzi- Fuziati, I think. So. Fuziati. That, that's it, right? So I get a call, and like, I kind of, I started laughing. I was like, "Oh, ha ha," because I thought it was one of my friends just being uh. stupid, you know. And he's like, why are you laughing? And I was like, oh, God, now I have to explain this joke to you. So because he he's the guy, right? And so anyway, he called me and said, you need a store. I've been watching you since you launched. And I'm like, oh, like I was like, oh, like it was my rock star. Fan girl. Yeah, literally. I was like, oh, I was like trying to like keep it together. I was like, yeah, we, we're good business people. You know, I was, I was a mess. And so he said, I've been watching you since you launched. You need a store and I have your store. And I was like, wow. oh, crap. Like, you're, you. he's serious, you know? And he's no like, yep. Idea. He's like, I just can't make this thing work. I've thought about doing a couple other concepts, but I think you should do it. And so so I didn't even really want to do it. Like, store was going to be, yes, we were going to do it sometime. Probably not this soon. Because you know how business is. You just always feel like you're stretched. And you're like, oh, I just, I, I, I can't do Let's it. Let's add to that stress. Yeah. And so it was like, yeah. So Story so of my like, life. <laughs> literally, right? So as you grow and I'm like, oh, we don't have the capital. We don't have the funding. Like, we, we just don't have it, you know? Here's your sign. Yeah, right. This is the thing to do now. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So, so they happen. Like, so he calls me and says, I, I've got the location. This is going to work. And I like, I just kept going back and forth. I'm like, man, I don't know. Like, I just, oh, like, remember I called you that day. And I'm you like, did. man, I've got this offer. So I called Katie. Now, now she was then going, when you called her and asked her that, she yeah. went, she was going, oh, yeah, yeah just like you did. I was. Which, which, by the yeah. way, by the way, you guys, and, and even people watching live, like, you need a network of entrepreneurs. Yes. Like, people You're don't, tribe. just because people don't see Katie and I, like, we talk. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, like, there, there, there's people. People, you need people in your life that you can call and say, hey, this is what I'm thinking about. And I feel like people just, just so think, random out yeah, of the blue. Just right. Right. Hey. Like no one knows we're connected, <laughs> no. but they do now. You yeah. know what I mean? But like you need a network of people. I remember, you know? so, now you know mama. I remember right. going yeah, mama, you know? to the location and pulling up at the drive through and I took that picture. One, the store? Yeah, the store. Oh, yeah. And I was like, where's my coffee? Because yes. I was just, yeah. I could see it. And I was oh, so yeah. excited yeah, yeah, for yeah, you. you did. And you text me that. Yeah. So Katie was like, you're scared. You're standing on the edge. You're scared of jumping. <laughs> You need to go watch this video. Was it Will Smith? So that was no, Steve Harvey. Well, there's two. Steve Harvey the, may, has another the one. The Steve yeah. Harvey Harvey jump, and then yep. I like the um, Will Smith one about jumping out mm-hmm. of an airplane. He was I like, seen which I've done, the, so I understood oh, it. Oh, dude! The, when you're on the edge yes. and the fear, and that's the you're moment yeah. when you're so terrified, but then yep. you jump, and it's just see. And I identified too with when you hit the rocks because. Not every time does your parachute open. Right. And you just have yeah. to climb back up. Right. Mm-hmm. And keep climbing. It's I mean, a, it's a vicious cycle. It, it, <laughs> it is. So so we get the phone call. I'm like, okay, we vet it for a month or two. And then we just made the decision. We're like, okay, like we we don't have the team. We don't have the money. We don't have the, the, <laughs> I've done the, the expert. I've done that. <laughs> yeah. Like we don't have the expertise. Like we have nothing, but we're going to freaking do it. You know? And so we literally just pulled the trigger and went in. And, and it's so, working. It's working. So January in the in the food business is normally your worst time for two reasons. It's after Christmas, so everyone's oh, kind of like broke. broke. <laughs> right. So they're like, man, I'm still trying to pay off that, that Christmas gift right. for little Johnny. And then um, it's cold, mm-hmm. and then everyone's on their diet. So they're like, I got to cut that coffee out. Yeah, like, this I, is I that one. This like, caramel macchiato. The, so like it's the worst, right? And so – and I knew that. I wanted to get it open in October and then really kill it up until Christmas. And then, you know, we'd take the hit of January or whatever. Our numbers are working right now. Like, I think we can pay rent and, like, make the thing float. That's and, awesome. And that's within a month. That's you fast. Know? And so that's amazing. And so uh, we're going to – so I have a – the plan is we're going to add food, like small food, like very basic. Muffins. basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if that doesn't work, we're just going to put a fryer in there but. and start frying chicken. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
what you're doing is phenomenal. And that doesn't happen to every entrepreneur yep. when they start. You make, and you make it look easy. It, you do. And that's the problem. Because like, you don't have the pride. Yeah. You say, I don't have pride. I don't give a what. You know, I just <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah, I get it. But some people do, and it right. takes a longer time. You know, I tell people, you know, three years before you can plan I mean, on the paychecks. That's most of the time, yeah. out of 25 years, yeah. that's literally how long. If you're yeah. making a profit literally. after the first year. Then, yeah, you. So yeah. after a month, that's phenomenal. Yep. So you, go, Jeff. Yeah. You know, we still obviously have a lot of debt to pay off. We still obviously, you know. You got to like, get there. But we can pay rent and pay our people to be there, you know. Yeah. And so, um, so yeah, we just we just launched out and just did it. And, and this is what Will told me, okay. So he is a smart guy. He's going to get mad. I'm talking about him so much. He's probably never going to. He's going to block my number. <laughs> but, but he's really smart. And he said, Jeff, he said, once you start doing stores, you're going to get out of the trailers. And I said, really? I said, dude, we built the business on trailers. He's like, dude, he's like, I have a trailer. Like, you can barely pay me enough to take it places. And and I understand what he means now because he literally said, you're working like a dog right now, aren't you? I said, yeah, Will. I said, 18 hours a day, seven days a week. And he's like, yeah. He said, you're working so much because they're really difficult to do and they are. So there's a lot of liabilities, right? Driving, I could hit somebody, run somebody mm-hmm. over, mm-hmm. a trailer falls, a tire blows out. So there's a lot of – so. It, it, but there's a lot of logistics. You have to work out of a commercial kitchen with a food truck, which a lot of people don't know. Everyone goes and buys a food truck. and no, then you they have call, to be attached. Yeah, and then they call the health department and mm-hmm. they're like, wait, I need a what? What's a commissary? You know, yep. and I'm like, oh, my gosh. Some so, of the chamber of commerce will do it, though, right. too. Yeah, or churches. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. absolutely. So if it's a certified kitchen, they can do it. And so – so what? So it's it's very difficult to run trailers because there's water logistics. Like, where's the fresh water coming from? Where's the gray water going? Where's the like? You got to figure all this stuff oh out my gosh. in a store. Oh my gosh! Like, I I've probably been there maybe. Turn the faucet on. I've literally probably <laughs> worked two hours since it's been open, and I'm not joking. Like, and I don't know if that's a healthy thing. Like, I, like I probably should be there more. Uh, but like, but I'm driving the trailer around. So, but I, all that to say, the you're words still building your brand though. We are even more so. We we are, but the words of will are like in my brain. Like, yeah, man. Once you start, because I see it. Because when my crew's done at night, man, they hit the security code and the cameras are up, and like they walk out and we're done. With a trailer, there's a lot of aftermath. It's like, okay, mm. well, now I have to gas the diesel generator up and gas the truck up and make sure my insurance is prep good. for and the like, next day. Yeah, make sure my tires aren't flat and, and prep and clean and sanitize. And like, so there's all this stuff and deal with gray water and fresh water. So there's all these- Protect your extension yeah, cords. Yes, right, right, right. Because that's <laughs> going to get stolen again. So there's all these like logistics that just have really been nice. In a, and we're paying for it. You know, we're paying rent. So there's a lot. So, so there's, there's like a trade off. I don't know. But it so, helped get you here. It did. And to wherever you're going because you're not done yet. It did. You know, Mocha's opened in that Smoothie King that's right down the road. Like Mocha's was there for what? I that, didn't know that. Oh, that's my building right there. <laughs> Our model, if you're watching or listening, but I think we'll do shipping containers. And so oh. like, I, so I want to do oh, nice. like multiple stacked shipping containers. We'll glass them out. Like they, they're going to look mm. sick. So that's where we're going, which someone told me that shipping containers were invented in Mobile. And if that's true, really? boom. If that's, So that's it, right? So like I didn't that, know that. So we go to New York with this brand. That's the tie because you have the state bird built in a container that was oh, made in Mobile, right? My God. So oh my it's God, like, my boom. head's exploding. Right, my so you drop it in Arizona or California or North Carolina. You have this massive tie back locally that you only know when you find out, right? I see, my so, heart just grew. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah. Like, like anyway. So that's what I think the future is. That's that's what I think we're going to go to. That's what I was wondering, kind of what's next. So you touch on that. Is there anything else that you can talk about? Yeah, fill us in. Next is is how to grow and be healthy. So Fusaclis has grown in a very organic and healthy way, and I want to model that. They're right? so good, dude. You think it's just cheap fried chicken? It's not. I've never seen someone so obsessed with quality. And I can tell you this. Will probably doesn't even know I know this, but whatever. Like even their toast, like when they toast their bread. So like you think, oh, it's just toast on the side. Like nobody it's cares, so right? good. They're such freaks that like he didn't like the dark spots and the light spots. He doesn't even know. I found this out through another source, but he didn't <laughs> like it. So they they imported these like, or they were testing these toasters that were steam powered. So they're in a lab testing toast because they, the toast they didn't think was perfect. And I'm like, if you're that obsessive over the toast that is the side, I'm like, it's unbelievable. Like, Will freaked out when he found out that we train our baristas to find the, the crease in the cup and put the lid on the opposite side of the crease. Yeah, I've gone to Starbucks a hundred times where they, they'll put the lid right where it the crease matters. is at. It matters. Oh, yes. man. And I'm drinking and I feel something hot on my chest and I'm like, oh, man. Unless you like, mess your clothes up, you got to yeah, go to a like, meeting. That's yeah. it, right? So I've had that happen a million times. So he was like, wow, you guys actually care about the small details? I'm like, dude, we're obsessive. I, and so it was crazy. Yes. Like the, I watched a documentary on a restaurant that was opening and all of the labels on the plates, if you turn the plate upside down, the label you can read who designed wow. the plate. So they go and that's how they ensure wow. that the plate is perfectly placed. And yeah. he was like, is anybody going to see that? Never. No, yep. but it matters. Yeah. It does matter. 
little yeah. things matter because they add up to big things yep, and it's all do. about the the experience. Yep, yep. The baristas are what are male baristas or is every Dude, I don't baristo? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Bre- okay, yeah, sure. Your coffee experts, people, yeah, they are just so friendly and welcoming yep. and not yep. judgy. Like sometimes, correct. Sometimes, and like, we train on that really big time. When I've traveled in high end coffee sure. places, yep. they're kind of judgy and mean, and yes. I'm intimidated because yep. they're so you, cool. You walk in and they look at you like, I'm sorry. Are you lost? Like Burger King's across the street. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like that vibe. <laughs> I can't stand it. Are they smarter than we are? Yes. Do they know coffee better than we are? Yes. Are they third wavy and cool and latte <laughs> art? Now, can they take 15 minutes to do a pour over and explain to you the single origins or blah, blah, blah? Like, yes, 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 yes. Right? And so there's even a little bit of like, oh, yellow hammer. Like, it's not <laughs> what they're not. Their level of coffee, whatever. So there's all of that. But man, are we inviting when you come in? You better freaking believe it. Like, are we excited to see you? Absolutely. Like, I tell my guys all the time. You're I'm an like, exciting, inviting person anyway, yeah, well, though. So, so it translates. But I tell my guys, I'm like, I don't pay you. Like, you don't get a check from me. Like, Katie pays you when she comes through the drive through Like, so if we yes. keep Katie happy, you'll continue to work here and get paid and get raises and, like, all that stuff, right? Like, it, I don't decide it. Like, your customer mm-hmm. service, it, it, like, decides it. And so... so yeah, so people are judgy out the window. How do you in- ensure that you get the right people to have that attitude? It's a difficult process, and we have very hard conversations. God, I've had in the past three days, I've had so many hard conversations, like I can't even keep track. And I mean, they're brutal. Like, hey, this can never, ever, ever, ever happen again. I mean, people are crying on the other end of the phone or across the table because it's like, I, like I hit so hard, but it's like. We raise the expectations so high that it's almost a challenge. So we run a lot of our business on teenagers. And people ask me all the time, they're like, how do you get these stupid, entitled, dumb millennials to lock (laughs) in? And I'm like, because at Yellowhammer, they're not stupid or entitled. Because I'm like, entitlement goes out the window. Like, I will throw your cell phone in the dumpster. (laughs) Like, I don't care. You know? And so they know that. It's a little psychotic. Like, it scares me a little bit. But they feel challenged. And if you put some weight on some teenagers, I've got a 17-year-old kid right now that started when he was 15 with us, runs 80% of my logistics. I mean, it's insane. Like, he has taken on so much. He'll, he'll be limitless with whatever he does because he took this responsibility when he was 15, you know, and we just kept putting more weight, more weight, more weight, more weight. I mean, he runs logistics really at three trailers, you know, or three locations. We're going to start wrapping it up. Really kind of what's three of the biggest lessons you've learned? Gosh, that's a good question. Let me question. hear it. Uh, honestly, the first lesson I think we learned is everything you think you know, you're wrong. And that's true, man. Cheers. And I see why Cheers. people I see why people fail when they do brick and mortars. Because we thought like, oh, we're going to go to the bougie Spring Hill crowd, all that money, you know, like we're going to go, you know, I mean, that's what you think. And that's what like even even places that I see go in because they have good data on good income. No one's ever looked at Sims a day in their life. Right. Because they're like, oh, the data's not there. Like the the growth isn't there. The like the I'm like, are you kidding me? So when you get into a mobile unit and you can test, you have data based on credit card swipes and sales. Like that's real data, like not computer computerized models that tell you right. where you should go, you know. And so that was really probably the biggest lesson of everything you think you know you're wrong and everything that you thought would fail usually work. It's, just, it's weird. And so it somehow is. we've weirdly been able to adjust and find good spots. And then finding those good spots, I think you're going to help us find good places for brick and mortars. Like people think I'm genius. They're like, you're so smart, man, because you, you can test it before you, you know, buy or whatever. I'm like, yeah, that was a plan altogether. You know? <laughs> like the second thing is – celebrate people like you have to celebrate people so i've been in organizations where oh you're celebrating when you're there and you're like oh love you bud oh your family you know and the day you walk out they're like get out unfollow block on social like it just gets weird and so i didn't want to do it like that and so we celebrate people when they come in we celebrate people when they're there and we sure as heck celebrate them when they leave i mean i have a team member she told me she's leaving and she's crucial she told me she's leaving three days ago. And I'm like, okay, great. What do you want to do? Like, love you. Like, I mean, she's going to be here mm-hmm. till the end of the month, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's hard, man. I've poured so much time, energy, and effort into her. So part of me wants to be like, block, like, get out. Like, no. it's a little bit of like a, oh, uh, but like, it's not what we do at the core. And so we've had tons of, we've never had a team member leave with like a negative feeling. Like every I've team member has I've got two clients leave. that yeah. used to work for me yeah. in the past. Right, right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Because you didn't treat them like dirt They're one they of the left. best referring yeah. sources it's, ever. It's amazing. And so what I have found is when you hold people loosely and you're like, man, I want you to be happy. And if you exactly. being happy is working here, that's awesome. But if you being happy is not working here you and doing something them. else, yes, I'm like, let's help you with this process. And it's just, man, it always comes around. And it I've always got comes two back. that are making more money now working for clients than it was my idea. Yeah. 
It's they were crazy. a better fit there. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's crazy. I had someone quit. They quit a year ago, went to like a real big boy job, worked it for a year, hated it. She just came back like a month ago, and we'll be better like, for it. Oh yeah, and she's like, Love we're about it. to we're about to get on salary. We're we're get, we're we're added benefits. Oh my gosh, we're big oh, boys wow. now. And so like we're moving that direction. So that's the second thing. Don't awesome. don't hold people. What would the third thing be? I don't know, man. It's literally think, celebrating people. I like the don't create document. Yeah, take people on your journey. There you go. Thank you so much for that piece of uh, content. And that it's was really like a don't that was the it, first thing I learned. Don't make from it you. perfect. Yeah, like don't make it perfect. Mm-hmm. People love like I think. I mean, we could double check it, but I think we have more influence on Facebook and Instagram than any other like kind of local coffee shop. I think, and that's not being brat. That's not I like so. oh, I'm the best. It's not. It's just like I was kind of the worst, which kind of made people interested. Which made people because we just show like I mean, we did a latte <laughs> art. We we literally did a latte art post yesterday. It was hideous. I mean, it's like latte art. It's like you, man, you pour. It's like all on the pour, you know. Yeah. And we literally put up a. Did you see it? Like we put up I one of our things. Seen it. Like one of my baristas was like trying to like draw like a like a flower like <laughs> with, with like a spoon. Every third wave shop in Mobile, like ever, was looking at that. Like these guys are idiots. Like they're <laughs> complete know? morons. And then we did a, 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 a vote. Like we did a vote on it. It was like, hey, is this a fail or is this a flower? You know. And you know they're like. They are stupid. But, but like, I felt like I knew it. you. Right, correct. Like, I came like, up to your trailer at College Hill and I yeah. said, I'm Katie's mom and I thought you should know me because yep. I knew you. Yeah, I yeah. felt like I knew you. And right. that's part of, I think, the joy of what you've created. I think yeah, it's great. It, it's fun. And it, it happens a lot. Like, I've, I've literally had people ask me for my for my autograph at gas stations. <laughs> I'm, I, I got gloves on like a serial killer. I'm gassing up. I'm putting diesel on the thing. And I've had people walk in and be like, oh, my gosh, like, you're Jeff with the all hammer. I'm like, yeah, like – like, what's up? You know, and I'm, they've literally been like, can I have your autograph? And I'm like, I was like, you know, I'm going to be <laughs> making your coffee in the morning, right? I'm not like, a, I'm not like going to get on my Learjet and flying to get like, like I'm a barista. Like you realize that, right? But it's funny, man, because people, but people do, they feel like they know me mm-hmm. and they're like, oh my gosh, it's like I saw so your kids awesome. and I saw your it whatever. It happened to me. And it's fun. Like, but, but I love that, you know? And so we, we promote that. I think another lesson is, is in celebrating people, like don't be scared to celebrate people. So I put a lot of team members up on our social media. Like I've handed off our passwords are now in, in two of our managers hands. And so they can put anything up they want. And like, it's just handing off. Cause I don't want Jeffy's face. Like I know my face is on the building cause I wanted something personalized, mm-hmm. but like their face is on a lot of social media and a lot of like, I'm going to, I want to put another TV in the store that just has pictures of our team members oh, with their social that. panels. Yeah. Like, Hey, here's your yeah. team members. You know, here's the 20 team members that work here. That way you can follow them, engage with them, talk to them. Love it. Cause it's not about Jeffy and his thing. It's about, uh, are you wrapping me up? Was that yeah. your sign? Well, Johnny's Dang signing it, to me and I'm signing to you. Johnny's making us. We can literally. I know. I, know. We I hate to We end haven't it. even started all day. All right. Okay. Wrapping this up. Yes. Short answer. Yes. Favorite coffee. Americano. Okay. That's what I'm drinking right now. Just like straight water straight, and coffee? Straight up. Okay. Do you drink wine? Yes. What's your favorite wine? I love a cab. I'm a I'm a cab guy because like an Americano and, and coffee and wine are very similar. They have they have like it's all about like, acidity. Taste. It's all about like where it's grown. It's all about like where it's at. So I'm a cab guy. Love a cab. Oh. One of my favorites right now is the Prisoner from. Uh, oh, is that Orange the Swift. thing that like talks when you put your phone over it? What? No, no, that's oh. a type. That's a type of wine. The Prisoner. It's made by Orange Swift. Oh. See, I just drink it. I don't really pay <laughs> attention. Okay. Whatever Brooke pours me at Donkey Market, that's I just. Hey, she's amazing, by isn't the way. she? We did, a, we did a tasting there because like it's it's all similar, and so we had a, a group come in. I went a little third wave-ish because we did some single origins and like some French presses and some vacuum pots <laughs> and like right. So we lit. So we had that side of us. Like we can kind of go like we can kind of go there, you know. But it's just not what we build our business on. Right. We build it on customer service, a good experience. And throwing a party. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think so. When, Thank you so much for Johnny being on the left, show. When Johnny left, he walked out. Did that I guess mean we're, we're done? done? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it was amazing. He'll Thanks wrap for it up. Me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we could literally make this a three-hour podcast. We could. That's what we I'm could. like. I, like I we, heard Gary V did like you told, I told me. You, right? you told me he did like, like seven a seven-hour hour podcast. Oh my god! Everybody watch. We have to beat him. Oh, we can. Let's just go. We'll start at eight and we'll end at five. Yeah, definitely. But I feel like we can legitimately talk all day. That's all. We'll start with coffee. We'll cater lunch in, and then we'll have exactly. Yes, yes. And then we'll end with wine. <laughs> how perfect the toast is. Exactly. So oh, yeah. cheers to having a party. Cheers. Cheers to coffee. That's right. Yeah. Cheers to having a dream and making it come true. Y'all, thank you so much for listening and being here with us today. I'm Karen. I'm Katie. Please be sure to subscribe to Cheers to Business podcast on iTunes or anywhere else that you get your podcast. Visit our Facebook and be sure to give us a like. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to discuss, shoot us an email from the website, cheers to business.com.